All right, welcome back to Dilemma Concepts. Uh, we're looking at question 10 on the January 2022 um, CSEC paper. All right, so question 10 um, is titled Vector and Matrices. Three points, O, P, and R are shown on the grid below. O is the origin, all right? Here it is. First question, it says here are bat. Here's the deal though. Here is the deal. Um, when we're talking about a position vector, all right, if we have the coordinates of a point like R here, then definitely we have the position vector. So the coordinate is actually five, one, but the position vector is actually, so the position vector OR is actually five, one in a vector format, because we know that vectors are written in a column format, all right? So that's the answer for that, five, one, OR. All right, let's go. The next question says, another point Q is located in such a way that QR is two negative four. Using the information, plot the point Q. In order for me to plot the point Q, I need to know, I need to know the vector or Q. I need this, I did not get that. But I have OR and I can move move from R to Q based on the information given. So I can follow this. OQ is equal to OR plus RQ. So in this case now, OQ can be located. So let us see, OR, we have OR as 5, 1, QR, but we want RQ. So we are going to change the direction. So that means we're gonna the signs on the components. So we're gonna be using negative two, four, four instead, negative three, and one plus four, that's gonna give us five. This is OQ right now. So OQ is three, five. So that is the vector OQ. OQ is three, five, right? That's the point Q, because from O to Q is, Three, five, all right? Then we're saying that the, the point three, five is the coordinate for Q, all right? So yes, so that's, that's what we're gonna have. So this question now says, determine, determine the magnitude or the size QR, QR. Let me write this quickly. So QR, was two negative four, right? So that's what QR was, two negative four, two with a negative four. Then the magnitude is simply, so magnitude of the vector QR is simply the square root of two square plus negative four square. And then from this, we're talking about four plus 16, which is equal to the root of 20. So the root of 20 will land us about 4.5. Let us work that out. Square root of 20, 4.47 to the exact 4.47 units. All right, so that is the magnitude of QR. Let's go further. Show by calculation that OPQR is a parallelogram. Let's go for this. We want to prove that. Um, we have this, we got, and we're going to find. We don't have, we're going to put on. So if this is a parallelogram, let's look on the labels. If this is a parallelogram, then, then OR must be equal to PQ has to be parallel, it has to be equal, and is equal to QR. So if this is a parallelogram, I need to prove these things are as I say. Definitely 
O-R, I have O-R already. Remember O-R? We have O-R to be 5-1, five, 5-1 one, five, one from previous working. So all I need to do now is to work out P-Q. All right? So P-Q, so P-Q is simply P to O plus O to Q. Well, PO, we have OP here. OP here is if you look o, if you look OP is equal to negative two four. Right? OP is negative two four. That means if I'm coming PO say because of what I wrote down. So I'm just going two negative four if I'm going the other direction, P to O. So PO is two negative four, and I want to add that to OQ. But remember, OQ is three, five, okay? We had that already, three, five. So when you add this, you will end up with three, two, three plus two, five, negative four plus five, positive one. And we're seeing here where we got this to be this. And remember, we just spoke about it, that if, so one of the proof is that these two sides, OR and PQ should be equal, and we just saw that. Let's prove the other part, all right? So the next part is to take, is to take PO and show that it is equal to QR. We got QR, we got QR as, we got it from the question, yeah, there it is, it's two negative four. So QR is two negative four. We got this already, two negative four. We had that. No, having that, I only need to find, I only need to find PO is two negative four. Definitely you can see that they are equal. Both of them are the same thing. Hence the proof. And that is all we need to show. We have that OR is equal to PQ and that vector PO is equal to vector OQR. And we have just shown that they are equal. The moment they are equal, then we're looking at it and said, yes, it's a parallelogram. Opposite sides, opposite, opposite sides are equal. That would make it a parallelogram. That proof would have made it a parallelogram. It's part that is dealing with some matrices. All right, let's go. So the question says, um, all right, so calculate the value of X and Y and the values of Y in the matrix equation below. All right, so here we have, so what we're gonna do, um, here we're seeing that we need to multiply this matrix by this matrix and it's equal to that. And then we're gonna do equal matrices, but let us highlight let us highlight what's going to happen. When we're multiplying matrices, it is always row by column. So I'm highlighting my rows here. So it's always a row by column. I'm highlighting my rows. And here are my columns. So we're going to multiply rows by column. So that is row one, row two. And here is my column one and there is my column two so i'm going to multiply these and then equate it so let's go so we're talking about row by column so it's one one times one times negative four plus five times two so one times negative four plus five times two then push further one times one plus five times nine. So that row by column. So I'm using this row to go with this column. And then when I done, I use this row with this column here. And, and, and that's for these two responses. Now I'm going to go to the other row here. So we're talking about two times negative four plus y times two. Then it's gonna be two times one plus y times nine. And this is equal to x. 4x, 
65. All right, let's go further. Looking at this, this is negative four, right? Plus 10. This is one plus 45. This is negative eight plus two y. And this is two plus four y. So I'm seeing all of that. Two plus forty-five, negative two y, two plus nine y. So that's that, and it is still equal to x forty-six six. 65. No, we're almost there. Almost there. Let's take it up. Now we can see now that we can say 6, 46. Um, and we have, you can say 2y minus 8 if you want. It's okay. <laughs> you can say 9y plus 2. Or you could write them as is. You know what? I'm going to write them as is. We're talking about negative eight plus two y. We're talking about two plus nine y. And all of this is equal to x, 46, six, 65. So what we wanna do is to equate, when you're dealing with equal matrices, corresponding elements are equal. So six is equal to x. That's my first solution there. I could write that out. Um, and um, I could solve for y using any one of these, I'll get the same answer. So if I want to take, I, if I want to use eight, negative eight plus two y, I could use that with six, get the value of a y, or I could, could use two plus nine y with 65 and I'll get the answer for y. So I could do any of those that I want. I'm going to do all of them um, just for working sake, all right? So let us go. So here, already I'm seeing that X is equal to six. That's a given, all right? So that's the solution for X. The next thing that we want to do is to work out Y. So I'm saying negative eight plus two Y is linked to six, all right? So let's go further, negative eight sides, right? So we'll add eight to both sides. Adding it, so we'll add it equal to 14, divide both sides by two, then definitely y is equal, that is it. If you never wanted to use this to solve for y, you could have used two plus nine y equals 65. Nine y will subtract two from both sides. This is equal to 63. Divide by nine, divide by nine, then y is equal to seven. So you could see we'll get the same answer. You don't need to do two in the exam. As students will have used that one. Um, definitely, when you look at this, remember this is an x value, this is a y value. Um, no, this is an x value, this is a y value. By looking at this, I'm seeing where my x value, um, so this is x changing to y. Look at this. 2 was x, and, it, and, and then 5 was y, and then it switched around. So the fact that they switch around, we're looking at y equal to x. That's the line. Understand? Because 2 becomes 5. 5 becomes 2. So we're talking about 2, 5 becomes 5, 2. So this is definitely, this is definitely a reflection in y equal x. All right? And we could look on it, so that's the answer. There's a reflection, one, and then y equal x, name in the equation is another for two marks. But um, y, um, let's go all the way up. We could just mark some stuff. So if I'm marking two, five would be here. Five, two would be here. Y equal x, y equal x is a line that passes through here. And I'm saying, that here is the reflection. If I should connect the two points here, 
will definitely see a 90 degree here if you mark it with rulers. So I'm saying this point was reflected in the line y equal x, and then it come across to here. So we're talking about two, five, becoming five, two. So it's a reflection in y equal x. Thank you for watching. And if you like what you saw, please subscribe, share, and leave a comment. Thank you. Bye-bye.